Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India A few few exercise let us do. Okay, they may not appear in your uh, 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 final test, uh, but it is important to do some kind of exercise on the basis of this module. Okay, let us start with this. With reference to the stratification system of honor in science, which combination is incorrect? One is ratchet effect. The I mean, which combination is incorrect. Ratchet effect, Nobel prize winners in science, the 41st chair, an artifact of fixed members of eminent scientists, the Matthew effect, reward and communication system in science, all are correct. Which combination is incorrect? Okay? Then you will find the, the last one is incorrect. Okay? Similarly, okay, if you find some problem, you can still write to me, you can question my, my, uh, why it is, why all are correct. Differential access to means of scientific production leads to a scientific community with equal opportunity, a stratified scientific community, an opportunity structure based on class and status. Okay? Then both B and C, a stratified scientific community as well as an opportunity structure based on class and status. Then scientific achievements and rewards are used to are used as an instrument asset. This refers to what? Scientific achievements and rewards are used as an instrumental asset. More resources for, for further research, increased influence among peer group, a means to change class and status of a scientist or all of the above, all of the above. Okay? The Matthew effect can be described as, the Matthew effect in science can be described as misallocation of credit for scientific work or misallocation of credit for religious practices, misallocation of credit for banking and investment sector or any kind of misallocations of credit for work respective of any sector. Okay? The Matthew effect in science can be described as the misallocation of credit for scientific work. A is correct. Which of the following phrases capture the implications of the Matthew effect? Once a Nobel laureate, always a Nobel laureate, let us now praise famous men, the rich get richer at a rate that makes the poor get become relatively poor or all of the above, all of the above. Okay? As per the Matthew principle, this is one of the effects when a renowned scientist and a novice collaborate. It diminishes visibility of the renowned scientist, it heightens the reward opportunity for the novice, it increases both visibility and reward opportunity for the both, it heightens visibility but diminishes reward opportunity of the novice, okay? it heightens visibility but diminishes reward opportunity for the novice. The Matthew effect is dysfunctional in the following conditions. Which following condition? Scientists at their early stage of their career and aspiring for rewards from their individual contributions. Scientists at their early stage of their career and aspiring for rewards for their collaborative discoveries. Only A or both A and B? Only A, I mean scientists at their early stage of their, of their career and aspiring for rewards from their from the individual contributions only a or both a and b scientists at their early stage of the career and aspiring for rewards from the individual contributions as well as from collaborative discoveries okay then only a 
okay, dysfunction, not function. The working of the Matthew effect with reference to scientific discoveries emphasizes on doing science is private activity, doing science is public activity, science is both public and private activity and contingent upon one's personal experience and preference or none of the above. Doing science is a public activity. Okay. Which of the following idea is reinforced by the Matthew principle in the communication system within scientific innovations? Science is a socially shared knowledge. Science is socially said, but not socially validated knowledge. Science is neither socially said, not, uh, not socially validated knowledge. Science is both socially said and socially validated knowledge. Okay. Science is both socially said as well as socially validated knowledge. Okay. Which among the following does not explain the social and psychological basis of the Matthew effect? Charisma of an eminent scientist self esteem and self conformity of a young scientist, repeated failures resulting into a psychological damage of a researcher. Eminent scientists tend to develop an immunity towards more and more publications, repeated failures resulting into a psychological damage for a researcher. The Matthew principle often transformed into an idol of authority and violates the norm of what? Idol of authority disinterestedness, universalism, communism or all of the above, that is universalism. Okay. One of the following is or are not the implications of the Matthew effect. Disparity between renowned and less known scientists reduces, renowned labs attract laboratories attract increased funding for infrastructure, new centers of scientific ex excellence attract more scientific resources than renowned laboratories or either B or C. Okay. New centers of scientific excellence attract more scientific resources than renowned laboratories. What is the institutional consequence of the Matthew principle in order to produce new establishments for scientific research? Lessens the concentration of top scientific talent in the existing centers of scientific excellence produces new centers of scientific excellence both of the above and none of the above none of the above what is the effect of the matthew principle in the communication system within scientific innovations heightens the visibility of contributions by eminent scientists reduces the visibility of contributions by less well known scientists heightens the visibility of contributions by less well known scientists or reduces the visibility of contributions by eminent scientists. We are not talking about reward system here, we are talking about communication system here. That is why it heightens the visibility of contributions by less well known scientists, but if it will be a reward system in the suppose if, if the question will be what is the effect of the Matthew principle in the reward system within scientific innovations, then uh, uh, then then this one will not be right. Okay. In the communication system, it heightens the visibility of contributions by less well known scientists, okay. but, but in the reward system, it reduces the visibility of contributions by less well known scientists. Okay. What we have done? We have done some exercise pertaining to this module in the term in, in so far as so far as the uh, Matthew effect in science in terms of reward and recognition in the in the form of communication system. Okay. In this module, we have also discussed the, the Matthew effect in science in terms of I mean initially the Matthew effect in its generality, then in terms of its cumulative advantage and the symbolism of intellectual property. Okay. Then how such inequalities in science percolate, how inequalities in science lead us to, to a more focused discussion on, on how technology is also unequally distributed, how, how is the design the way we have already discussed how the public roads in India are designed in, a, in such a way that 
they they are anti pedestrian the way uh, the the we have also discussed the construction of the new york bridge okay now the way we are going to look at look at this this structure that that from how a particular technology is socially economically politically amplified in the context of langdon winners work on do artifacts of politics okay we'll discuss the social shaping of technology okay this is very important but before social shaping of technology we'll discuss in part in part technological shaping of society first then how technological shaping of society must be rejected in favor of the social shaping of technology okay then when we say technology technology is essentially socio technical in nature and the social and the technical cannot be separated and any attempt to treat them in isolation would be misleading okay is it clear then what we are going to do then how a particular technology uh, is politically influenced how a particular technology is socially shaped economically determined okay culturally influenced and so on okay through different examples we'll try to learn what are the 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 third currents of of the of the wage these two domains of inquiry namely technology and politics okay are interrelated before getting into discussion on do artifacts have politics before getting into the uh, the, the article by langdon winners do artifacts of politics how technology has inherent political properties okay uh, will will stay on with some more assignments some more exercises which are of paramount significance okay suppose we have discussed uh, certain uh, questions like what is the institutional consequence of the mathieu principle in order to produce new establishments for scientific research what is the effect of the mathieu principle in the communication system within scientific innovations uh, uh, i mean hi it heightens the visibility of contributions by less well known scientists okay we are talking about communication system not re reward system okay in the context of mathieu effect in science i mean in the context of inequalities in science okay now let us come to some more questions the gap between the haves and the have nots in science may increase due to initial comparative advantage that you know that initial comparative advantage of uh, having name and fame having uh, uh, or uh, of being elite scientists okay and what are the factors which contribute to such advantage okay a structural location b trained capacity c available resources and d all of the above we know that it is very important to have structural location trained capacity and available material resources and also symbolic resources then if n represents number of scientists and p represents publication i mean those scientists publications if n and p denote the number of scientists and their publications respectively then inverse square law of scientific productivity refers to n is proportional to p square p is proportional to n square p is proportional to n and both a and b i mean n is proportional to p square as well as p is proportional to n square it the answer is publication is proportional to the inverse square of scientists okay p is proportional to n square 
then what is the implication of the accumulation of advantage and disadvantage for scientists? What is the implication of the accumulation of advantage and disadvantage for scientists? A increased productivity in research front tends to shift in administrative role, B declining productivity in research front tends to shift in administrative role. Thirdly, administrative role in the research is inevitable irrespective of productivity in research and or D all of the above. In fact, declining productivity in research front tends to shift in administrative role. Then we are confronted with a question like this that during the course of an individual's work life as a scientist, the accumulation of advantage and disadvantage results in one the researches will discontinue publishing, the researches, the researchers will discontinue publishing, the researchers will pub publish at a steady rate as an individual, the, the annual output, the yearly output of a research group will decline, the yearly output of a research group will increase or I mean A, option A, only one only the first one or on both the second one and the third one or both second and fourth one or only the fourth one. It is both second and the third one. The researcher will publish at a steady rate as an individual as well as the annual output, the yearly output of a research group will decline. The accumulation of advantage is skewed in favor of students from less privileged social strata, middle and upper strata, precocious nature, statue or none of the above, precocious statue. We have already discussed these things. A precocity is not rewarded, who among the following youngsters from differing social or ethnic group would go to hardship most? Less pri privileged social strata, middle strata, upper strata or all of the above. It is less privileged social strata. The bias towards precocity in educational institutions works profound damage to the youngsters with economic and social advantages. It reflects the condition of a personal problem of the youngsters, latent social problem, manifest social problem or both A and C, I mean or both personal problem of the youngsters and manifest social problem it is latent social. If it is an established hypothesis that rewarding early signs of ability has a serious consequences to the students from less privil privileged strata, then still it tends to persist. The reason may be traditional action, purposive social action with anticipated or intended consequences. C, purposive social action with anticipated uh, uh, with unanticipated and unintended consequences or both B and C, I mean purposive social action with anticipated or intended consequences as well as purposive social action with anticipated or, uh, or, or rather purposive social action with unanticipated as well as uh, or unintended consequences. D, both a and B. I mean both A and B, I mean both traditional action as well as purposive social action with anticipated or intended consequences. It is purposive social action with unanticipated and unintended consequences. In fact, we will we'll discuss purposive social action in the lectures to follow before we, we get into do artifacts of politics uh, of Langdon Wiener, uh, because Weber uh, will be a precursor to uh, uh, such such things and and Martin cannot be evaluated independently. Martin has to be situated against the backdrop of uh, against the backdrop of Weberian methodology in the social sciences, and we'll de definitely discuss Weberian's uh, uh, methodology in social sciences before we get into do artifacts of politics. Okay. 
stratified distribution of chances among the scientists operates to maintain a class structure in science or create a process of social selection in science or allocate resource and reward or all of the above, it is all of the above. The accumulative advantage and disadvantage tend to reduce inequalities in allocation of resources or tend to accentuate inequalities in science and learning or equalize peer recognition and scientific productivity or disregard pre precocity. It is I mean the accumulation of advantage and disadvantage tend to accentuate inequalities in science and learning. The process of accumulation of advantage and disadvantage among scientific institutions leads to concentration of material resources at selected elite universities b proportionate sharing of human resources among all universities c concentration of both human and material resources at elite universities d proportionate sharing of material resources among all universities. Okay. It is the process of accumulation of advantage and disadvantage among scientific institutions that leads to concentration of both human and material resources at elite universities. Countervailing processes refer to what? Countervailing processes ref may refer to the closure of the endless accumulation of the advantages. B the closure of the endless accumulation of the disadvantages, c check on the systems growing at exponential rates or all of the above, it is all of the above. If processes of accumulating advantage and disadvantage are truly at work, there are not even greater inequalities than have been found to obtain. The reason for this is the Matthew effect, b countervailing processes, c disfavor of for precocity or all of the above, it is the countervailing processes. Countervailing processes manifest in the form of what? Option number 1, premature replacement of an elite, option, num, option B, competition within universities, Co option C, competition among universities, option D, all of the above, it is all of the above. I mean countervailing processes manifest in the form of all these three, I mean premature replacement of the elite, competition both within and among universities. The paradox of private property in science refers to what? What do we mean by the paradox of private property in science? Once private property is established by giving away its substance away, once private property is established by appropriating others contribution. Once private property is established when it is accepted into the common fund of knowledge, once and number four, fourth option is uh, once private property is established when it is kept aside from the common fund of knowledge. Only one, I mean once private property is established by giving away its substance away or only one and three, I mean once private property is established by giving away its substance away or and uh, as well as once private property is established when it is accepted into the common fund of knowledge. Option C says only 2 and 4, I mean once private property is established by appropriating others contribution as well as once private property is established when it is kept out aside from the common fund of knowledge or only 4, I mean once private property is established when it is kept aside from the common fund of knowledge. It is only 1 and 3, I mean once private property is established by giving away its substance, uh, by giving its substance away and uh, once private property is established when it is accepted into the common fund of knowledge. Then the question may arise like this, the symbolism of intellectual property reflects in following institutional practices of citations, references, bibliographic accounts or all of the above, it is all of the above. I mean the symbolism of intellectual property reflects in, is reflected in terms of citations, uh, references and bibliographic accounts. Symbolic institutional function of the intellectual property system of science involves what? 
directing readers to the sources of knowledge, assessing the knowledge claims, ideas and findings. C providing the peer recognition to maintain intellectual tradition of acknowledging others contribution or D only A and B I mean directing readers to the sources of knowledge as well as assessing the knowledge claims, ideas and findings. It is only C I mean C is the answer providing the peer recognition to maintain intellectual tradition of acknowledging others contributions. Instrumental cognitive function of the intellectual property system of science involves from, from symbolic institutional function we are coming to instrumental uh, cognitive function of the intellectual property system of science. What does it involve? Directing readers to the sources of knowledge or assessing the knowledge claims, ideas and findings. C providing the peer recognition to maintain intellectual tradition of acknowledging others contributions or D only A and B I mean directing readers to the sources of knowledge as well as assessing the knowledge claims, ideas and findings. It is only A and B. Now, are you able to follow the difference between symbolic institutional function on the one hand and inst instrumental cognitive function of the intellectual property system of science. Okay? In the realm of intellectual properties of science, legitimate appropriation of the property accounts uh, uh, I mean in the realm of intellectual property of science, legitimate appropriation of the property accounts for what? Scientists can use others work and need not acknowledge that work as it is communally accessible. Scientists cannot use others work if they are not acknowledging that work even if it is communally accessible. Scientists can use others work and need to acknowledge that work irrespective of its open accessibility or all of the above account for legitimate appropriation. It is scientists can use others work and need to acknowledge that work irrespective of its open accessibility. In the realm of intellectual property of science, illegitimate expropriation of the property accounts for what? Scientists can use others work and need not acknowledge that work as it is communally accessible. Scientists cannot use others work if they are not acknowledging that work even if it is communally accessible. Scientists can use others work and need to acknowledge that work irrespective of its open accessibility or none of the above account for illegitimate appropriation. I mean scientists can use others work and need not acknowledge that work as it is communally accessible, it is an illegal or illegitimate expropriation of the property, intellectual property. Okay? Now, before we, before we move on to uh, uh, the relationship between technology and politics, how technological artifacts have inherent political properties, let us first discuss Weberian methodology which is very important uh, in social science research in the in uh, in the ways in which uh, Merton carried out his research uh, uh, on the uh, on the interaction between science and society okay